Ladies and gentlemen, a great graduation ceremony should have in it a great occasional address. And we are very lucky today to have a great speaker to give that occasional address. Today, the address is to be delivered by Turia Pitt. Turia is one of Australia's most admired people, and her story has impacted millions around the world. Turia graduated here at the University of New South Wales with first-class honours. She's completed two Ironman events. She is a best-selling author. She mentors thousands through her school of champions. She's raised over $1 million for Interplast. And she was a finalist for Australian of the Year and a finalist for the Telstra Business Woman's Award. Ladies and gentlemen, it's an enormous pleasure for me to introduce to you Turia Pitt. Hello, what an awesome day at an incredible university. Before I acknowledge some of the very special people in the room, I'd first like to acknowledge the traditional owners of the land on which we gather today, the Bredjigal people of the Eora Nation, and pay my respects to their leaders, past, present and emerging. I would also like to acknowledge the Chancellor, the Dean, families and friends, and of course, a massive, massive shout out to the graduating students. Woohoo! You did it, this is your day. And I don't care if it's done virtually via telecommunication networks or hologram. Today, you graduate, so congratulate yourself. Nine years ago, I was where you are now. I was about to graduate from this very university. My career path, I had it all mapped out. Graduate mining engineer, superintendent. I probably would have done a couple of international secondments and I had my sights set on being the CEO of a global mining firm. That never happened. Two weeks after I graduated, I entered an ultramarathon. I was trapped by a grass fire during the race. I received burns to 65% of my body, spent six months in hospital and I was told that I would never run again. So what did I do? I adapted, I pivoted, I reinvented myself. Not as a motivational speaker, because us engineers are way more credible than that, but as an athlete, an adventurer, an author, I've done Ironman World Championships, I've written three best-selling books, I've run up mountains and down valleys and through rivers and gorges. And being able to adapt and pivot is now more crucial than ever. This is the first virtual graduation ever held at UNSW. You might be watching this sitting on your couch in your Ugg boots, or maybe you're cooking dinner. The world is changing and evolving and adapting and you get to be a part of it. So it is exciting, it's thrilling, the possibilities are endless, but it's also a little bit terrifying, uncertain. What's the economy gonna do? What will the long-term impact be of social distancing and isolation? Will your job be secure three years from now? I haven't experienced what you're going through. I didn't graduate during a global pandemic, but I do know a little bit about going through the hard times, overcoming adversity and beating the odds. And throughout this whole journey I've been on, from being faced with a wall of flame in the Kimberleys, through to my recovery in hospital, and everything else I've achieved since, I've learned something, something simple. Change your focus. Your attention, your energy, it's limited, it's finite. And it's like a torch, so whatever you shine it on is what you'll see. When you focus on all of the things that could go wrong, when you focus on what's missing in your life, when you focus in on your flaws and in on your fears, when you listen to that little voice inside your head telling you that you're too young, you're not smart enough, you don't have the experience, that's all you'll get, that's all you'll see. Change your focus. How? Ask yourself these questions. What's one small step I can take forward? What could I be grateful for right now? How could I be of service? These questions, they change your outlook, your mindset, your frame of mind. They get you moving in a direction that is bigger and better and brighter than your fear. Change your focus. Has there been a better time to do this than in 2020? It would be wonderful if we could learn about resilience and grit and gumption, 
by sitting in a uni lecture room taking notes. But alas, the only way we learn resilience is by going through the hard times. The only way we get grittier is by testing ourselves. And the only way we get more gumption is by showing up when things get tough. And what we're living through right now, it will strengthen us, it will fortify us. It could just be the making of all of us. And you, all of you, are graduating today from the best university in Australia. That's why the world needs you. We need your smarts. We need your problem solving abilities. We need your dedication to finding the solutions. And we need your gifts, whatever they are. Maybe you're a fast learner. Maybe you're patient, kind, optimistic, articulate, tenacious. Whatever your gift is, the world needs it now more than ever. So whenever you get stuck in your head, wondering if you said the wrong, wrong thing, wondering if you're gonna stuff up, wondering if you're going to embarrass yourself. Whenever you start to feel scared or worried or uncertain about your future, your career or your life, stop yourself. Notice where your attention is and now change your focus. Ask yourself, what's one small step I can take forward? What can I be grateful for right now? How can I be of service? Congratulations, guys. Thank you, Churia. On behalf of the entire University of New South Wales, that was absolutely marvellous. And I must say, old as I may be, totally inspiring. Thank you so much for coming here. Thank you for doing it. And congratulations on everything you've achieved. On behalf of everyone at the university, I want you to know we're not only thankful for the speech, but we're so proud to have been part of your life and to have you as an emissary for our university.